dear 13 year old me hello it's me from the future I am 21 years old now and I am just going to let you know a few things You probably haven't found yourself yet. You don't know who you are. It feels like everyone else has a personality and you don't. That's fine. Don't overthink it. In the future, May knows who she is very well. And she doesn't let anybody treat her less than she deserves. You're probably comparing yourself to other people, wondering why they are different from you. But in the future, uniqueness is celebrated. And even besides that, you would grow to realize that the unique characteristics that make you you is the best part of you. And you would fall in love with those aspects of your of your life that are not similar to anyone's anyone else's. Your body is just starting to grow. And I know you probably do not like it. But you will grow to love your body. All of it. In the future. A lot of the things that will happen when you are 15 will lead you to a dark place and you will struggle a lot with depression it will be hard but you will get through it because you are a conqueror and that's what you do you need a lot of help So don't be afraid to ask for it. It will make you better. In the future, you are really good friends with your mom. Which is good. Because she will help you a lot with your struggles. I'm sure by now, you are counting the number of months since you last cried you're probably saying that it was the day that Aunt Julia was buried you'll be surprised to know that me from the future cries pretty often it's surprising I know you grow to learn that crying is good for you it relieves you makes you feel better and you don't feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders anymore forget about your gap too You would grow to love smiling and you would grow to love it. Forget about your left eye being much smaller than your right eye. It is part of the intricate details that make you 
who you are. Forget about how thick your ties are compared to others. You'll grow to love them. Believe it or not, thick ties are a thing in the future. People love them. We just got them a whole lot earlier than the world was used to. God knew what he was doing when he made us. At 16, you will get admission that will change your life. Of course, you wouldn't know that until you're my age. But then, you'd fall in love with worship and with praise. And you would start to experience the things of God in a much different light. And God will bring you out of that dark place that you were. And you'd learn forgiveness. Not of the people that hurt you, but of yourself. And you let go of all the guilt that you've been carrying. You'd have joy and peace. And you'd feel free. And you'd cry a lot. You'd make friends. A lot of friends. Good friends. Who love you for you and who never let you feel down for more than a second you'd cry not out of sadness but of relief and you fall in love with Psalm 46 verse 10 be still and know that I am God for everything that you do in life. In the future, you are not brooding and sad. You are not just the shy girl. You are still a little shy, still a little quiet, but more trusting. And you are funny, believe it or not. And your friends bring out the best in you, even when they do not know it. And you'd fall in love with makeup and the art and the colors and the details. And you continue to write because that is who you are. But your writing will make more meaning. Your stories will touch lives, evoke emotions, and make people amazed. You turn 21 and you'd fall in love with you and all that you are and all that you would be and all that you were. Every part of you from your lips to your eyes to this to your skin and you'd love you the before you and the after you the struggles that created you the version that the struggles created would be the best version of you ever your life wouldn't be perfect but you'd leave it in laughter and happiness and joy and peace and you'd be yourself unapologetically yourself so stop worrying because I've seen you in the future and I must say you are pretty dang amazing <laughs>